Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to get this scene done. We're going to fill this box, the cereal box up with particles and have them pour into the bowl. Uh, I haven't animated anything. This is all using physics, uh, gravity. And so all I did was animate the box and the particles are inside the box and they interact with the box. They interact with the bowl and they even interact with the countertop. And so let's go ahead and get started, guys. This is a brand new scene. Uh, and I'm just going to go to the polygon modeling, uh, get a box right on there, hit R to scale. And then I'm going to um, model the countertop. I'm going to raise it up a bit just like that. It doesn't matter like what size or whatever. It's just a representation of a surface. I'm also going to put on here uh, a background image. So I'm going to get this uh, file. I am going to size it. Hit R to size and then E to rotate. Hold down the J key. Move it back because I am going to put a background image. And I believe this image might be a little bit more horizontal like this. All right, cool. Here, I am going to build yet another box. Here it is. And this will be my cereal box. And so R to scale, probably uh, about that big. It might be a little small for the countertop. I might make this countertop a little bit smaller. And there's my cereal box. I'm just going to put it right on the counter, push it back a little bit because I am going to build next a bowl. And here it is. It's just a, uh, a sphere. I'm going to go to the uh, side view and go to face mode. Right click and hold, go to face mode. And then I'm just going to get rid of all these faces. Delete. And there's my bowl. It's a little big right now. I'm going to go to object mode again. And I am going to size it down a little bit. Right about there. Move it down right into the surface. Oh, I'm, I might get a little bit of a flat edge right over here. I'm going to select all these vertices and then size them so we can have a flat edge and then move them up a little bit right there. And so um, if I go back to object mode, I can bring this whole bowl down a bit right to there. Uh, the next thing I'd like to do is select this box, go to face mode and delete the top. I'm going to just select the top face and delete it. Boom, hit the delete key. I'm also going to turn off the grid. I don't need it. It's just bothering me back there. So uh, here we go. We've got one box, which is the countertop. Another box it is the cereal box. We went into face mode, deleted the top, and then we've got a bowl, which is just a sphere. We deleted half of the faces. And we've got our scene done. The only other thing that I'm going to do is right now, this is only one polygon thick, which is not realistic. So having selected the bowl um, as an object, I am going to hit command E to extrude. It's also right here, command E, and I am going to pull on the blue arrow out so that I can create a thickness to this bowl. And there it is. Go back to object mode. I'm going to click on wireframe so that I can see that. I'm going to put this right on the edge. Uh, and I'm going to do the exact same for this box because right now, I'm going to hit F. Right now, it's paper thin. Although it is made out of cardboard, it's not that thin. This is like paper thin. And so I'm going to hit Command E to extrude, and I'm going to slightly push this out so we can give it a thickness. 
everything is built that's all the modeling that we're going to use let's go ahead and texture everything uh, this box I'm going to color since it's it is a chocolate cocoa puffs kind of a deal I'm going to give it a um, a new blend and I am going to color it brown like that uh, I'm going to take this ball I'm going to give it a new blend and I am going to color it white uh, and I'm going to take this um, countertop, create a new blend, and I'm gonna just going to color it uh, like a dark gray. This is the background image. So for this, I have an image. So I am going to create a, uh, a Lambert because I don't want any uh, glare. And I am going to replace the color with an image click here go to file and then click on the folder icon to pick your file and I've got a kitchen background and there it is mm, but we don't see it we have to hit number six for a textured preview see there's six and so we've got our scene done this is a little bit big though I'm gonna size it hit R to size it and then maybe even push it back a little bit w push it back uh, because when i see this i like to see this in scale so this kind of fits now uh, the only other thing is um, this box the front of it let's put, let's add a cereal box go to face mode we're going to click on this face and we're going to create a new a new material and we're going to add an image. So go click on the checkerboard icon, go to the file, click on the folder icon, and then I'm going to select this cereal box. Uh, and there it is. Uh, the only thing is it's way too big. I'm gonna select it again and project it using a UV projection planer. I'm gonna go to the options by clicking on this little box here to the right and I'm going to choose, you can see that it's facing the X axis and then hit project and there it is. I want to deselect that. Our scene is completely built except for the lighting. Uh, I might add lighting, I might just leave it like, like it is. And so let's go ahead and start with the particles. We're going we're gonna to fill this box with cereal, aka particles, uh, and then we're going to pour it into this bowl. Uh, and some may spill over and the countertop is going to catch all that stuff. And so let's go ahead and do it. Um, let's go ahead and get that done. First of all, this is the box that we're going to fill. So go ahead and select the box. And then I am going to go to my effects menu set. Go to particles and fill object. Create an, an emitter, but we're going to fill an object. And I want to see the options here because there's one option that we need to click this double walled because this is not a single polygon. Um, we're going to click this, but I'm just going to leave everything as is. Uh, make sure that this is clicked and then hit fill uh, particle fill. And it does that. It fills the box with particles you see in there this box is filled with particles all right so what happens if we hit play what happens if we hit play the particles just fall through the box and fall through everything uh, here they are and then they just fall through so uh, let's fix that let's look at in in there the first thing i'd like to do uh, i have the particles selected and the first thing i'd like to do is go to the attribute editor and go to the shading tab right now is just points but let's convert those into spheres and there they are uh, the other thing i'd like to do there may be it may be a little bit big so particle size um, let's shrink it down to about point I don't know, point zero six see what happens and then back in the shading tab under color let's change the color to these to maybe that brown that we were using so that's cool if we hit play again 
Uh, nothing has changed with the physic. It still falls through all of the objects. The next step is to select the box. And uh, we're going to create a passive collider. And I'd like to go here to the end cloth. Create a passive collider for the box. Create a passive collider for the countertop in case any of the cereal spills into the countertop and then create a passive collider on the ball so the ball is going to catch them so if we hit play right now if we hit play uh, you see that now they don't fall forever they don't fall through the box but something weird is happening let me zoom in they are falling into each other to the bottom of the box. So we have to turn on something right here um, in the collisions. If you select the particles, go up to collisions. I'm going to close the particle size. We need to we need to make them self collide. That means that they're going to react to each other. And so if we hit play, now they fall to the bottom of the box and they're there. Boom, see that? I'm gonna make them just slightly bigger so they, they can fill the box a little bit more and hit play and there they are. That's a box, it's about halfway full. So cool. I'm gonna stop that. Uh, and now all we have to do is actually pick up the box and pour it into the, pour it into the bowl, to be honest. So the box, as soon as they hit, Let's go to number four so you can see the action inside the box. Um, when I hit play, they fall right at about 25 frames and then they're at the bottom of the box. Boom, there they are, waiting for us to pour them. So I think that uh, at frame 30 or 35, I can pick up the box and pour it. So I'm going to select the box and hit a keyframe hit s to build a keyframe and i'm just going to pick it up slightly and tilt it so i'm going to pick it up slightly and tilt it maybe even move it forward we'll see how that works right there and see how that works. So it's going to like, again, pick it up, pick up and move and pour all of them into the, into the bowl. And we can make it stop at, a, at about 120. At about 120, we could create a keyframe. Let's add more frames. Let's add 400 frames. So at 100, 120, we're going to make it stop and we're going to rotate it back again and put it back down. I'm going to make sure that it is completely rotated and it is completely back on the ground. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and watch the animation. All the particles fall in, pick up, pour, and then there we go. That's it. That's the whole animation. Everything works. We have, we have like three of them fall out of the bowl. Now, the only other thing that I want to do now is... I want to move these, these two, I think I want to rotate them so that we have a little bit more of a dynamic scene. So I'm going to rotate them this way. I'm going to go to the top view and I'm going to rotate this one this way and the background, which is way over here also this way and place it way over here so that our scene now if I 
now the uh, here now it, it's a little bit more dynamic because it's not straight on you can see the front of the box uh, let's look at this and see what happens let's go all the way to the beginning they fall into place you pick up the box pour it and then pour it back in so this animation kind of ends right at about 180 let's just take it down to 200 so go 200 and that's it let's look at this again play boom there it is and then it stops if I zoom in a little um, I can always move this maybe down a little bit like that and there's our scene guys hit play the box gets up pours the cereal comes back down and stop cool and that's it guys i hope you like the video if you like the video go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe and i will see you on the next one thank you guys